Incoming transmission. Greetings, everybody. I was tracking back with another Star Trek Discovery, the official Starships collection review from our friends over at Eagle Moss Hero Collector. Uh, this is an absolutely gigantic box, uh, but we're going to check it out together. We have the Section 31 station. Um, I do like my stations in the collection, and uh, there will be more stations to come. Um, but this is an absolutely colossal freaking ship. Um, big shout out to Hero Collector for sending this over. It gives me the opportunity to do a review for you fine folks. Do check out their details in the description box below. You'll find an unaffiliated link that you can check out all of their collections as well. But uh, listen, this video is made possible really because of your support by checking out this video, sharing with friends and family alike, and uh, for supporting via Patreon as well. So you're all freaking amazing. Let's jump into checking out this video though. Uh, normally I'm a Starship guy, but uh, stations come my way sometimes. So as I said, this is a colossal box. One of the biggest in the collections so far. Uh, here we have our Discovery magazine. Um, we would have seen the, well, depending on the order I'm putting these up, the Discovery special, the Shenzhou special. We're kind of back into the Star Trek Discovery uh, collection here. So this is the Section 31 HQ, destroyed in 2257. And uh, it was a former penal colony. So we're going to put that to one side. And uh, let's get a first impressions. Of our big beastie here. Ooh. Put this down to one side. Uh, here we have our faceplate 1580 A slash A. Uh, colossal mount. Sits very low and uh, yeah, by all. Kind of sits, kind of looks like a goalpost, really. We'll put that to one side. Now, I did have a peek at this. If you follow me on social media, I would have posted a picture on this before. This bottom is a little bit loose, but nothing that is a little bit of glue can't cure. So, it came loose in transit. So, I'm just going to see if I can get that back in. There we go. So, uh, this is huge. Freaking huge. I'm just going to show you here what happened. So, that part sits up in there. Very, very easy fix. And I shall be fixing it. But at the moment, a little bit of pressure does solve it. Um, initial looks though, under this lighting condition, uh, great sculpt on it and uh, very, very nice paint applications. Like this is, again, it, it is the house of section 31, but it's a penal Connolly initially as well and uh, it has to have that kind of grimy foreboding look to it but uh, let's get rid of this hideous backdrop here and uh, check out this uh, ship in more detail shall we a ship station see how I'm stuck in a row here <laughs> let's check out the station in more detail shall we so normally I would adjust my camera <laughs> but I kind of need it here just to kind of get the size of this ship station god damn it Irish Trekkie station in, in play here, but um, let's do a very close uh, flyby of it. And you can see some of the nice paint apps, as well as some of the detail. I'm daring to touch in this column here. Um, now, I don't know the anatomy of this. We'll find, maybe we'll find that out in the uh, magazine. So you have this kind of exoskeleton, kind of almost like bones, ribs, that go down the outside of it. And then you have your central column. Some nice paint graphics in there as well. Someone's fingerprint by the looks of it, maybe. <laughs> or it could be on purpose. So you have that kind of wear, dingy look to it. And then you have these fins that almost kind of look like radiator fins. Kind of coming off the edge of them here as well. Seam is hidden very nicely. And you have that kind of hatching paint application on it as well so the sculpt there's detail in there but like no panel lines really so the kind of hatching kind of gives that effect into it and you have the ventral side a good bit of detail on the ventral side of these here as well 
and uh, what looks to be like the landing bay docking bay on the ventral side of it here as well and you have a similar antennae at the bottom to kind of give it a little bit of symmetry as you can see on the on the top there as well so again you have that weathered effect on the paint app nice bit of detail on that ventral hub at the bottom with a very kind of industrial aesthetic to it as well so penal colony first remember and then the the house of section 31 it's quite asymmetrical as well so you have this kind of component over here you have these piping uh tanks on one side of it as well so the, i like that kind of asymmetry this fin uh on this side here as well which is pretty cool i do like that i i, I sometimes asymmetrical designs don't work but um sometimes they do and i think in this case they do but uh, overall it's pretty impressive good weight to it there's the die cast down here where my thumb is and then plastic components here as well so it's very weighted and again you would expect something like this the weight will be at the bottom of it i like the color tones to it as well kind of earthy kind of grimy so you have the kind of green terracotta orange dark grays in there as well you kind of think something like that now would be in like an alien movie and stuff like that as well which i suppose for a penal connolly even kind of like a, a klingon or something like that as well but let's see what she's like on the stand and we go from there so yeah uh this is a pretty big uh ship <laughs> to be honest with you there's a lot of weight uh coming down on my little turntable here as well but it should still uh, remain hopefully functional for you and you should see hopefully let me just change some of the lighting here to get advantage of some of the detailing on this as well uh but yeah it's actually huge i love the uh kind of exoskeleton style detailing on the front um when you look at it as a penal colony i think you totally get it like it's not your atypical super clean super bright uh super bubbly federation style uh design so when you look at the magazine you see there's a little bit there on on that aesthetic as well so it's pretty cool um outside of that again you know it's a station you know i'm more of I, i'm more of a, a ship person as well but it is pretty big uh, i'm just curious to know folks where do you have these on display um i have some quite narrow shelves i'm gonna have to figure out where to put this one in probably i'll have it in a box for the short term uh, i do have a long term plan in place here but uh that'll be a while before that can see the light of day but um yeah let's check out the magazine and we'll swing back for some final thoughts so here we have our magazine section 31 station special issue and we'll check out some of the goodies that are in here we have our two sections mounting instructions penal colony of its origin destroyed 2257 we have some close-up shots of it as well looking here you can kind of see it's very very on point with what we got actually as a model so the remote station protected by illegal mines provided section 31 with a secret headquarters secret but not so secret in the mid-23rd century starfleet covert intelligence division division section 31 was headquartered on a remote space station that had once been a penal colony the colony had been abandoned a century before section 31 took it over i love the idea of section 31 I'm not the biggest fan of the implementation of such a visible covert uh, entity as it is. Now listen, I know, okay, we all know about the covert agencies around the earth. Uh, I said the earth like there's other plans around here, like with, you know, all of the different agencies across, you know, America, uh, Europe, Asia, and so on and so forth. Um, but they consider clandestine operations. You can know of the entity. But not of what they do so um you know but like again the black badge is so cool you know it's a little bit too in your face like hey i'm section 31 
Um, anyway, here we have, I, I know we talked about, wondered about the anatomy of it. This would have been a good point of just having some points of interest, like, oh, the reactor's here, kind of controls over here. I'm assuming the reactor would be here. Maybe this is a kind of fin, uh, command and control at the top, uh, ingress, egress at the bottom, cell habitation along here as well. But uh, I'm just guessing. Designing the Section 31 station. So the Section uh, the Section 31 space station will be something we hadn't seen before. A secret base surrounded by mines operated in the shadiest part of the Federation. It was designed uh, by Discovery's VFX art director, William Budge, who embraced a chance to introduce something new to Star Trek Universe. I respect keeping things in canon, he says, but my job is to take it to another place and make the world bigger. Very, very good point. My initial thought was that it would be some kind of a uh, brutalist design that was in the same vein as the Section 31 ships. Again, looking at Ryan Denning's very stealthy, angular uh, ships. That'd be cool. But I kind of like the grungy design to it here as well. Um, the key illustration shows the station surrounded by mines. The station is actually a CG model built by Scott Schneider and designed uh, by William Budge as well. So fabulous. Uh, fabulous render there. Um, here are some of the ideas. So I like these insights when you're looking at some of the the creatives in Star Trek. You'll see they all have similar approaches in certain areas where they'll kind of do iterative designs. Some are Photoshop, some are pen, some are complete uh, graphics here as well. So you have a kind of more fleshed out model base here as well. And we're looking at August 10th, 2018, which is kind of cool. Uh, kind of see the kind of vein of the ships here when you're looking at the size comparisons as well. So some very interesting um, designs when you're looking at the side on uh, a top down views. Cool. Kind of see the kind of went with more of this vibe over here rather than a very slender Sleek looking one. A lot of content in here as well, which is pretty cool. And then again, fleshing it out over here as well. So 10th right up to the 17th. So very quick, very rapid pacing here. Um, and we're looking at scale here as well. So scale, you're looking at 26, 34 feet and 1665 feet. So again, you look at the discovery over here as well. And so that's awesome. So let's close out on the back graphic. Do check out that magazine. Some great uh, insights into the thought behind the design here. And uh, let's wrap up the video, shall we? So looking at the magazine there, brutalist aesthetic, something different. Respecting canon, but kind of taking it to the next step as well. Uh, no tall order to fulfill here as well. But uh, when you look at what we saw on screen versus what Hero Collector have done here, it's pretty spot on. And uh, for the little antennas and stuff like that as well, I know my kind of shuttle bay section came loose as well. That's a very easy fix. Uh, it was just a little bit of adhesive there. And uh, it seems like the stand itself seems to kind of keep it in place just with the kind of pressure. I'm sure if I kind of give it a bit of a knock, it would probably fall. But... Um, the overall unit is fairly stable on the base itself, so I'm very happy with that aspect of it. Um, but folks, yeah, very curious to know what you folks think. So let me know in the comments below. Not often do we get a station uh, in a collection, but uh, when they do, when we do, they're pretty freaking big. And I do have to change my studio quite a bit. <laughs> anyway, uh, we'll wrap it up there for today's video. Thanks for stopping by, checking it out. Uh, these videos are completely made possible by your folks' uh, support. And a huge shout out to the Patreon supporting the channel on a monthly basis as well. You're absolutely amazing, super awesome rock stars and, uh, you know, uh, a great motivation to continue doing these videos. And again, big shout out to Hero Collector for sending this over. Again, my thoughts and opinions remain my own. But uh, if you want to check out their full backstory and collection, do check out the previous reviews on the channel. But also there is an unaffiliated link in the description box and uh, again keep an eye out for offers because they do happen quite often uh, i've been your local irish trekkie thanks for stopping by if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button 
hit the like button if you enjoyed the content as well and maybe share it with uh, a loved one in your life that may have a similar ship addiction as you do as well <laughs> and uh, listen have a great day stay happy stay healthy stay sane and i will see you in the next video take it easy and remember wake up be awesome and repeat <laughs> good luck bye bye